Looks like our heroes are about to go face to face to face to face to face to face with a dragon god. This month on D and D minus. I wish I could summon Manscaped Man somehow. Can I do that? <laughs> Don't spoil the future of our podcast, <laughs> Just listen to me slowly crumpling up the entire next arc. I don't know, you guys are stupid. <laughs> Tiamat's surprise is just enough time to jump on the back of the Wool Dasher missile with Dave's mom in tow and speed past the dragon god into the caves below Darkmoor Castle. But that surprise doesn't last long, and seconds after you take flight, you hear the crash of stone and the roar of Tiamat's five heads behind you. Will Dasher Mizzle calls out, I can't keep ahead of her for long. You all are going to have to hold her off. Manny game! Fuck yeah! Okay, we're on the back of the Will Dasher Mizzle, who is a dragon who popped out of my, like, inventory. Mm -hmm. I and there better be another like outlet of this cave. Yeah. So here's how this is going to work. So you are now running on the back of the World Dasher Mizzle from Tiamat. Tiamat is a god. You are level seven adventurers. She would beat the ever loving crap out of you. So your goal is to hold her off while you escape the caves under Darkmoor Castle. But we're going to roll initiative just like we would any other fight. Oh, this is like it's like minecart carnage or something. This is, yeah, I love it. Okay. It's the carpet level in Aladdin on Sega. Carpet level, yes, that's better. That's exactly. Better. It's the level in every single Final Fantasy game where you beat the boss in the thing and then the whole building is collapsing, so you have to rush out. Yep. I can't remember what the first 2D Super Mario on Wii was, but it's like the Bowser fight with him. Yeah. I got eight fucking teen. I got 11. 14 for Claw and six for Dave. All right. Also, I will remind you that Carl is currently summoned and he's flying along with you. He's like flapping on the ear. He's not like still stuck in anybody's balls or anything. No, no. He managed to survive an entire combat session. I don't know how I feel wow. about that. Yeah, it's, nice. uh, it's incredible. We'll see how long that lasts. We're going to start and Tiamat is up first. She is going to start by blowing some acid. With her <laughs> acid head, her black dragon head, if you will. And she's going to breathe acid in a 120 foot line that is 10 feet wide. Jesus. Each creature in that line must make a DC 27 dexterity saving throw. Oof. Do I get to use extra dice? Because that's not a thing. <laughs> I, I, none of us have a plus seven on our dexterity. So we just miss. I do. Oh, I have a plus seven. Oh, you do? Yeah. So if you get a nat 20, you just barely. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Oh, 24. Oh, what if you have a natural defense against? Poison? Yeah. What if you what if you've taken a lot of acid and it really doesn't do much <laughs> to you? <laughs> if you have acid resistance, then you're going to take half of the damage. Poison resistance. Is that the same? Nope. Acid is different than poison. All well, right. I didn't do it. Surprising everybody, I'm sure. <laughs> Even though you're basic. You're basic. <laughs> you're basic. Opposite of acid. Let me roll that down. Oh, wow. Surprisingly low on the damage. That's going to be just 13. How's that possible? Don't go back. Just <laughs> don't go back. It's 13, everybody. You heard him. 13 mm -hmm. points of damage. Okay. 13 points of damage. How big is the back of the wool dasher mizzle that we're standing on? Just enough for five of you. So like width wise, it's like we, we're what straddled on it. Like, yeah, like it's a big horse. Like, OK, so yeah. So there's no like we're not like dodging maneuvering on it. Mm -mm. We're sitting like a banana boat in a line. <laughs> exactly. So we were just trying to like lean real far. Right, exactly. And that didn't work out. Question. Yeah. How far away is the dragon god? Less than 120 feet. Yeah, she's about, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say 120 feet. 
Okay. 115 feet, if you will. So she can't she can't do any more than that. Okay. All right, Bridget, you are up. I'm going to thunder wave. Fuck yeah, you are. Love it. I'm going to thunder wave first level. I know it's not much. All right, I'm going to cast that. But it didn't cast. Why didn't? Oh, here we go. Is your, your thing's going slow, isn't it? Do you have to use real dice? Wink, wink. Oh, wink, 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 wink. Yes, sure. Oh, oh, hey, it's a constitution saving roll. That's why. Okay, yeah. All right. It, it, she's got to beat a 14. Yeah, so you shoot out this wave of force. And I mean, when I say she doesn't slow down, it's as though you did nothing to her, oh. right? She doesn't even notice this spell. Claw, you are up. We have established that there are stalactites, right? Yeah. You're flying underneath them and sort of yeah. dodging in and out of them. Okay. Fuck yeah, we are. I bet, I bet it looks really cool in 3D. How wide is the entire room? You've probably already said it. Right now, you are going through like narrow caveways. Right, So right. in this specific moment, this six second period, say that it's a... Uh, 50 feet wide. So you have, I would say, 20 feet on either side of the wool dash or mizzle to do whatever you want to do. Too far to try and like punch a wall and like dislodge rock. Yeah. I mean, you could punch a stalactite as you fly by it. Mm -hmm. That would just feel good, right? Like, right. Right. it's some really of your for frustration. Yeah. Out. It's my own. You could punch a <laughs> hole in the drywall like a white guy. <laughs> Date a 16 year old. Did you say that lava's lava below us? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, there's no lava below you. You're just flying through these cave networks. It's just stalagmites below us. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and just like knock a bunch of stalactites from above us. Yeah, because you can't do flurry of blows here. No, yeah. yeah. Right, right. What are you going to do? I have like a deflect, so I'm going to do my reaction to deflect in case she shoots something at us. But I guess for my action, I'm going to just punch a bunch of stalactites above us and try and, you know, get her a little bit distracted. Perfect. Yeah, I won't even make you roll for it. You you knock a couple of stalagmites, but again, this is just like a huge dragon god. Mm -hmm. She's smashing through stalactites just by flying, so she doesn't, again, doesn't even notice. Okay, cool. All right. Carl is up next. Again, he's sort of holding on to the Wildash or Mizzle's ear, and he turns back to you, Heath, and he's like, you want me to do <laughs> hey yeah Carl this is a tough one I don't know I feel like attacking the dragon god with five heads is a <laughs> what do you say bad idea bad idea for sure that's a bad idea yeah okay maybe he could do a wet shit get in his eyes Carl do you need to shit I don't have shit as an attack damn it <laughs> not as an attack just as you shitting I mean, I did it in a backflip one time. I feel like you could at least try. You guys have asked me to shit and pee. You're a pug. You could definitely take a shit right now. You're full of it. Just be honest. You could you could shit now, oh, yeah? could you breathe silently? No, you couldn't. <laughs> also, like, if Carl dies, we get a D1000, and that might just, like, help us. <laughs> Could also hurt us. I feel like Carl makes it makes it harder for us to pass without a trace. <laughs> Just having him around. <laughs> Not that we're trying to do that right now. Sorry. Maybe we should be trying to. Nah, she sees us. Carl, is there anything you can do to slow down the dragon god? I don't know, man. She's a dragon god. Yeah. So no. I'm a peg a peg a corn. Yeah, I know. Could you maybe distract her somehow? Can you go tickle? Can you tickle her? A little song and dance? Yeah, or or do yeah, act musically do a dance and tickle her at the same time. You want me to go try and tickle the dragon god Tiamat? <laughs> yep. Maybe go perch on her little nosy and then do a little tap dance and be like, ooh, what did it do the do la day? How did it do la do? Ra babaru. I mean, come on, that that is adorable right there. That'd be so hard not to get distracted by it. <laughs> Who's that waddling down the street? Who's that having too much to eat? <laughs> Who's the boy with the peg your feet? It's Carl the Pug of Pegacorn. Carl, there's that song. That's the song. That song. Exactly. That's a pretty the good. song you should do. Deep tone. All right. I'm going to go try and distract her. And Carl lets go of the ear of the World Asher Miser and goes flying back towards <laughs> Tiamat. And he's like, hey. Oh Hey, who's that there with the, <laughs> the fucking God guy? They're not even trying not to kill me at this point. Do you point. want us to do it? Line? Do you need a line? <laughs> oh, no, I got it. It's good. Okay. All right. While he's trying to do that, Snedrick, you are up. All right. I'm going to cast Earthbind. Ooh. 
Ooh. Choose one creature you can see within range. Yellow strips of magical energy loop around the creature. The target must succeed on a strength saving throw. I should point out that I still have portents of 1 and 11. So that strength saving throw is going to be a 1. Or its flying speed, if any, is reduced to 0 for the spell's duration, which is 1 minute. An airborne creature affected by the spell safely descends at 60 feet per second until it reaches the ground or the spell ends. All right. That is the fucking end of this chase if the answer to this next question is the right one. What level is that spell? Oh, it's real low. It's second level. Yeah. Unfortunately, she is immune to spells of sixth level or lower. Jeez. So all of my spells. Oh, so the spell slot that I literally... She's a god. Up. She's a god. So there are no actions that I can take. <laughs> yeah, I only have fourth level spells or the highest that I have. Yeah, so attacking her directly with spells is is not going to work. Hold on, I have an idea, possibly. Ooh. If you cast a spell on me, I can use armor of deflection to change the consequences of the spell to somebody else if I roll lucky enough. Yep. Take it outside the box. But if I don't, then you descend to the <laughs> ground and are bound there and get eaten by the drone. Oh, either way, we get away. I was yes, going to say, win, 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 <laughs> win. Yeah. All I have, I don't have a, cr I left my, like, I don't have a crossbow. I used to have a crossbow. You left it back at the castle, remember? Wow. Maybe that's a different character I'm thinking of. Different game, because it's not even showing up here. Fuck. Yeah, no, I, I left I left a bunch of stuff. You're thinking of other D D podcasts while you're doing this one with us? Other D D not podcasts. Wow. You're my only podcast. Wow. <laughs> this is awkward for all of us. This is guys really, really hurt. Okay. We need a new Mike podcast pence rule <laughs> where you can't be in the same room <laughs> as other actual play podcasts. But yeah, so Snedrick, this earth buying spell, these these stalagmites and stalactites, they reach out and they hold her for a few seconds. Yeah. So you actually do gain a little bit of ground, but then she bursts free and continues to chase her. I will say that action does hold her back. So she's not going to gain ground on you this turn. Dave, you are up. Okay. What direction compass wise are we flying? Oh, you don't know. D you're the God that do you know? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us? I mean, I don't usually pass this around, but you are headed north. Okay. <laughs> is there a spell that is... Absolutely not. Just a giant fucking waste of my time. <laughs> I act, no, I really do. I have a spell that can like move the possibly this, this dragon god five feet in a random direction. But Is it above a level six? But yes, that's the problem is I would have to like cast... What about cantrips? On my, it is a cantrip. Oh. Yeah. Do cantrips count as a... Yes, they count as below level six spells. Okay, so, but I'm a level seven. You are. I'm a level seven. We're all level seven, but, but we only have level four spells. What? I have two level five spells. Oh, you do? On the one to seven parts. The fuck is the point of being a level seven if you're not having any level seven spells? My favorite through line of this podcast is Heath remembering the leveling system of Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> and hating it anew. <laughs> Why is it off? What is it? Is it in like metric and the other ones in Imperial? What the fuck's happening? Why wouldn't it line up? Dungeons and Dragons was a plot by their government to get kids good at math. What is happening? Or better at math. Or more confused by math. Or more confused by math, you know? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I, do we have any defensive spells? Like ones you can cast on us? I have zero spell slots left, so I have to do a cantrip, which is oh shit, okay, Eldritch Blast. But I can do so. I have two cantrips that could possibly apply. One is infestation, and I make a bunch of fucking bugs Ooh. show up, and then <laughs> hopefully that would seriously hinder the dragon god. <laughs> and then if I roll lucky enough, it could move the dragon god like five feet in one of the directions, which doesn't feel like that's anything. Here's the other one I have. I was thinking about doing a little mage hand action because that doesn't like, I don't cast it on the dragon. I cast a, a hand that can then do something potentially. That's true. Like poke her in the eye. It could poke her in the eye. It could tickle her to help Carl. It could knock stalactites down, which I was excited about, but then that didn't fucking do anything. It could go straight up her nose. 
Okay. Or something Did not else. expect nose to be the end of that sentence. I did not either, yeah. <laughs> but come on now. <laughs> Classy. Classy. I like it. Okay. And alternatively, of course, I have a blunderbuss. I say you shoot the dragon with the blunderbuss because then you will have shot at a dragon with a blunderbuss. <laughs> and so you, sure. you know what? This feels like just, you know, metagame wise, Eli's setting up one goddamn time that I could use a blunderbuss and it would make sense. <laughs> I feel like that, I, that's what's happening. Sure. Blunderbuss him. Blunderbuss. Blunder I'm shooting bus. the fucking dragon blunder god with a blunderbuss. That's happening. Nice. Phenomenal. You're probably going to hit Carl. Okay. But <laughs> if I do, A, I have two options if I hit Carl. I could, he could dodge, well, three. He could dodge it. You know, he has to roll or something and he could possibly dodge. Mm -hmm. Or I could deflect the consequences of my blunderbuss action from Carl to the dragon god. Or Carl dies and I have to roll a thing and something really bad happens to me and then I can deflect that action to the dragon god. Oh, Ooh. shit. That's right. Turn it into a fucking stork or whatever. Oh. Yeah, right. If I if I turn into a stork or a finch or like... I, I swell up all weird and big like I did when there was the WWE turnbuckle thing. I feel like there's stuff that might go wrong for that dragon god. That's true. Sure. He'd bap you around like a balloon, like a toddler at a, at a birthday party. Okay, bottom line, I'm shooting this blunderbuss. What, how do I roll for that? Just, a, I believe it's an attack roll. You just click that plus zero. All right, that's a niner. That's a nine. Yep, you miss. Great. There's five fucking Fuck heads. You, yeah. you couldn't hit a single <laughs> one of them? Keep trying next time, my guy. <laughs> All right. Wool is up. It's his first turn. He notices that the passages are starting to narrow and split, and a fork appears in front of him, and he yells back to you all, right or left? Oh, fuck. Left. Definitely left. All right. The left path is thinner than you expect, and you are forced to dodge out of the way of stalactites. Everybody this is good. make a... DC 10 dexterity saving throw for me. 13. That's a save for Claw. Oh, 11. And a save for Bridget. That's a save save for Dave. Four. Ah. Four. Oh, so you all dodge out of the way, dodge out of the way, dodge out of the way. And then Snedrix like gets up a little too quickly <laughs> to shout at, like a, a taunt at and just takes a quack, a quick stalactite to the back of the head for... 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Fuck. However, because that is narrow, you do manage to get one chase unit. Oh, I should have come up with a cool name for these. But basically, if you get three chase units ahead, you escape Tiamat. So you are now one chase unit ahead and you are out of the range of her breath attacks. Question, how is Carl doing with his musical number? Uh, he's back there with Tiamat. You have no idea what's going on with him. Also, is isn't his turn yet, so he, yeah. has, he hasn't started doing it yet. But also, how is his musical number? Just asking just asking as a friend. I mean, because the, the listeners will want it. Just music aesthetically? Roll a perception check for me, Bridget. Oh, boy. Okay. This is not my turn, by the way. All right. I, I, I perceived a six on his uh, quality of musical. Yeah, Dave, you don't hear anything. I perceived a 14. Bridget. Bridget, in the distance, yeah. you hear. Ooh. If I only could, I'll make a deal with a dragon god. <laughs> Get up and please don't eat my friends. Hey, everybody, just popping in to thank you once again for listening to the show. We love Make It, and we're glad you enjoy listening to it. Sorry, it's a little bit of a shorter episode this month, but, you know, I wanted the adventure to tie up in a nice little bow for you, and indeed it has. And, hey, if you're enjoying the podcast, why not head over to patreon.com forward slash D and D minus. All spelled out, no uh, fun, fancy ampersands in there, and pledge as little as a dollar. You'll get access to behind-the-scenes Dungeon Masters corners, as well as the small game we played, played game Lasers and Feelings, which was super fun. Get access to all of that for as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month! 
is all we ask of you for this wonderful show that we provide. And hey, if you don't have the money, we completely understand. Why not head over to iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts and give us one of those five-star reviews I've heard so much about. It helps new people find out about the show, and it's a nice little thing for us as a cast. We get to read it and feel nice that you did the thing. Anyways, the next show will be the first Friday after the first Wednesday of next month, and we will see you then. And on that note, Bridget, you are up. Carl, you're doing oh. great. Carl, keep doing it. That's awesome. Whatever you're oh, doing. Oh, he's doing a great job. All right. So, spells. Good boy. Why don't I... Actually, why don't I just heal word everybody? You have a heal everybody spell? I do. It's not a lot of stuff, but I think everybody could use a little bit. Everybody take eight points of healing. Eight healing. Nice. All right. And as my main action, because might as well, right? I'm going to go ahead and cure wounds on um, our wizard buddy over here, Snedrick. Here, Snedrick, have, have an additional 11 points. Nice. But yeah, thank you. Nice. Claw, you are up. <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Am I allowed to like defer my turn until a moment that comes up? <laughs> Yes. Claw wants to take a gap year before his turn. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's two options. You can either push yourself back in the order and your turn will always be after X's turn or you can delay an action. So for instance, you can say, I'm going to delay my action. I want to stab right when the bad guy walks in the room. Your turn will remain in the same order. Or you can say, you know what? Uh, Snedrick always sets me up really good at with these healing spells. Gotcha. So I want to push my turn back until after whoever's. Okay, so I want to save my turn until literally the next time we have to choose a pathway. Oh, Morgan, Morgan, if you wait until after my turn and I say I want to wait until after your turn, then we can't go for Like, we <laughs> lock true. it into you a loop. You break the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would stop time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if, if you fuck me up in the game, I die in real life. So, <laughs> <laughs> guys, we, I, I've been meaning to tell you, I'm the computer for war games. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to cast Dark Vision right as we pick a side one way or the other and hopefully that will like she will pick the other way oh I wonder if the dragon that's been living in the caves under the earth I know with no she... fucking light can see in the dark I she probably has dark vision but I don't have anything else so like God, we gotta do something yeah I mean I'm just gonna pull out my bun bun of soothing and and you know like <laughs> calm myself down on my turn so yeah, yeah. What, what are you gonna do oh, uh, have we moved on to the palliative care section of this <laughs> <laughs> We're in aftercare, everybody, and aftercare is an important thing to remember. <laughs> you're, you're right. She probably has dark vision, but like, I don't have anything else to do, so. All right. Well, why don't you cast darkness? Read that description of, you're casting darkness, right? Yeah, sorry. Darkness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re read that spell description. Magical darkness spreads from a point you choose within range to fill a 15-foot radius sphere for the duration. The duration is concentration up to 10 minutes. The darkness spreads around corners. A creature with dark vision can't see through the darkness. Oh, it's that dark. Yeah. Sweet. And non-magical light can't illuminate it. Oh, this is like the Vanta Black. Yeah, so even <laughs> though she has dark vision, and she does because she's a god. She's a dragon. She has to guarantee that she's not flying through this cave on behalf of Anish Kapoor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So, Claude, you know what I'll do right now? Rather than just having to invent a double path thing for the next Wool Dash or Mizzle turn. I'll say that you're sort of dodging in and out and I'll let you do that right now on your turn. Okay. So you cast that darkness. Okay. Yeah. And we're about to pick an we're about to pick a path. And you're gonna pick a path. Yeah. And th this will be a consequenceless path because this is about throwing her off your path. Okay. So we get to all pick left or right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyone want to vote? <laughs> I mean, I will always go left if you're given those two choices. I say left yeah. again. Sure. Left it is. Okay. I am going to publicly roll a dice. Can Snedrick use his portent to... No, because I'm just doing this to determine whether or not she follows you. Okay. She's not rolling a dice. I'm rolling a dice to see if it happens. So if it's above a 10, she gets the right path. If it's below a 10, she goes on the wrong path and she falls back behind you all another step. Oh. So it's 10 or lower. 
is 10 or incredible. lower. 11 or 20. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So going the wrong way would go to a tube that would like loop back to us, but a little bit longer. Or she'd have to like crash through the wall and it would take a second. Or she'd have to like fly backwards. That's a 10. What does that mean? She takes the wrong path. Yeah. Ooh. So we are two units We're ahead. Two, two units. 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 Units ahead. Well, but wouldn't she have to succeed again at the next one to catch up to us? No. Okay. Feels like yes. I feel like if she crashed through, she realized it and she crashed through the wall to the other that's tunnel. True. That's the coolest looking version. Of right, it. exactly. Okay, so she that's what's happening is what we're saying. She smashes through. She realizes it's the wrong one, smashes through. She's back behind us, but but now further behind. But now even further back, exactly. Okay. And she lets out a rageful roar. Ooh. Okay, I have a question. Will Dasher Mizzle flying skill wise can Will Dasher Mizzle hit the brakes and she flies right over us like in Top Gun. <laughs> that would, seems like a bad idea. I agree. That seems like a terrible idea. We're trying to get out of the fucking cave. You could suggest that to the Will Dasher Mizzle in character no. and see what he says to Will that. Will Dasher Mizzle, <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, man, I heard you out of character just now. That's fucking stupid. Oh, you, you, you. <laughs> I wow. like this. Okay, you can hear my stupidity in Meta World. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so never mind. Just uh, scratch that. Cool. Yeah, no, I'm going to go ahead and use my turn to escape the dragon god, if that's all right. Whatever, you're named after a sneaker. You're named after a sneaker. Oh, my God. You get God. sold on podcasts. I can't, you get sold on your mom's house. Wow. <laughs> Honey, don't oh. let her talk to you that way. I'm, don't forget, I'm also here on the dragon. Wow, you have not been helping us at all, have you? Right. Like, why isn't she taking a turn? She's not even in the... I don't get a turn. I'm kind of fridged for this section. But oh, if you I left me behind, that. it would be pretty obvious that I, like, died or something. So I'm just going to have to... We took care of the problems. This year. Like, she's in more danger following us than... Or staying with us than... Aye. Being on that sacrificial table with two dead guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. That, you know, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. Now that I think it through, it's better this way. Are we still failing the Bechdel test? It's funnier if she can still... Roast Dave, yeah. Chime in, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. So it's Carl's turn. He's gonna do a thing. Carl, has that dance going? You can't hear me. I can't hear Eli. Yeah, I lost everybody. You know, I'm still here. I'm still here. I was just... I was rolling for something that Carl was doing. That was and... a lonely moment for Heath, though. Thank you. Nothing happened. Snedrick, you're up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't, I can't tell Carl to do something. Oh, he's back there with the dragon. Yeah. You told him to distract the dragon. He's back there trying to distract the dragon. But can I tell him to do something new on each of his turns? Sure. You could, yeah. If you want to give him a new command. How would he hear you, though? They actually have a telepathic link. He can yeah, see we have a, what we Carl have a familial sees. bond. Yeah. Oh, so how's he doing? Great question. I, w I did a perception check earlier, which was dumb because I could just use my, you know, telepathic connection to him. You see rocks and a very, very close vision of a giant draconic face. Oh, so he's like staring him in the eyes. I can see through Carl's eyes sometimes. Yeah. Is the dragon the new fiend of the Dark Moors? Yes. Oh, so you're supposed to ruin that relationship. Do you think you can ruin that relationship, Carl? That's what I want to know. To be fair, Dave did kill one of the members of that relationship. And if anything ruins a relationship, <laughs> death is one of them. You yeah, know, that makes a good point. Never mind. Oh, yeah. We killed Cress. And th so that's kind of accomplished. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I would say so. Gladys is super happy with you. Okay. <laughs> Can I summon Gladys into like a mirror or something for advice? Uh, there's not a mirror nearby. It's not your turn, is it? Not, and she could probably summon you. Yeah, no, you can give Carl a command right now is what you can do. Hmm. I'm just saying, I feel like he's doing a great job. You, you guys think Carl's... I was just rolling him as his attempt to distract the dragon again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but if you want to change his mission, you can. I feel like you stick with Kate Bush, you know? Wait, what? That's, That's what, what he was singing last. He was singing Kate Bush. Fantasy <laughs> Kate, Kate Bush. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys you guys think trying another roll for the Kate Bush distraction is the move? Well, I mean, Eli already rolled and nothing happens. So that's that's no. why I think it's not the move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, maybe he goes sexy or tries to get well, in the dragon's I, head. Yeah. Carl, uh, Carl, can you do like, do you know Smash Mouth at all? Absolutely. <laughs> do I know Smash Mouth? <laughs> 
<laughs> all right. Can you do a little all star for us? Uh, switch up to distract it. All right. Oh, that's going to get in their craw. That's going to annoy everyone. Yeah, right. right. A little earworm. Some dragon once told me the world. <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> all right. Snedrick, you're up. <laughs> all right. I'm going to cast haste on the Wool Dasher missile. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Love it. Choose a willing creature that you can see within range until the spell ends. The target speed is doubled. It gains plus two bonus to AC, has advantage on dexterity saving throws, and it gains an additional action on each of its turns. That action can be used only to take the attack, one weapon attack only, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object action. I don't know what the hell that means. But anyway, the spell only is good for one minute. When the spell ends, the target can't move or take actions until after its next turn as a wave of lethargy sweeps over it. But we're already two units ahead. Oh, oh. really good chance. I mean, there's no roll that has to happen, right? Right? I just do it. Yeah, you just do it. Oh, this is not, there's no roll needed? Yep. Yeah. Even better. Okay. And it's a minute, right? So that's like 30 turns or something, right? Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a long time that we would have to still be in this race. Yeah. It's not like it gets the bonuses this turn and then doesn't move next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Because that's, that's a, an action is what? Five seconds or seven seconds or something like Six that? Six seconds. Yeah, I believe. Six seconds. Okay. All right. Dave, you are up. Aren't we three units ahead now? Oh, I guess not until... No, he has to do the thing and you guys have to succeed at it. Yeah, we'll dash your missiles turn. All right, so I feel like we're going to get ahead by that last chase unit that we all understand um, geometrically. So uh, one last shot with the blunderbuss. Just, you know... Fuck yeah. For spite. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, I think Carl is like right in front of his face, so I think you're going to hit Carl. I think he has five faces. I think you just shoot at one of them that wasn't the one you just saw. I. <laughs> yep. Do they all look the same? Oh, good question. I was thinking they were different colors because they one are different was colors. Acid. Yeah, they yeah. are. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're the five different Ooh. chromas of dragon. Oh, wow. That's black, green, red, silver, bronze, gold. They've got a bunch. Purple and black, blue, green, red, and white. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. white. Okay, that was the one I was missing. Okay. One other option, though, I feel like I could do the mage hand, then use the mage hand to try to extricate Carl from that scenario so he doesn't get killed at the end of this. Would he just disappear at the end of it or no? Carl, would you just be able to disappear at the end of this if uh, we get away? What do you mean disappear? You're doing your telepathic connection right now, yeah. right? So, yeah, I'm in uh, telepathy. <laughs> Carl, <laughs> you know how you're a demon? Can you just disappear when you want to? By minute. Oh, God, it's in my head again. Yeah, that's the worst. Five <laughs> Sorry, what? maybe you should do that instead of Smash Mouth, but uh, th th that's neither here nor there. Can you just disappear, like uh, demon style, to get out of this? Let's go back to the demon realm. You just want to unsummon me. Yeah, can I do that? Yeah, all right. I'll see you next time, boss. Poof. Yep, and the, the chain on your wrist glows gold, and Carl the Pucket Pucket Corn disappears. Survives an entire fucking... <laughs> Wow. With a dragon. Did you do that instead of the blunderbuss? I'm saving the dog. I feel like I don't. I don't you know what? That's fair. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm. You owe him that. More likely to hit myself with the blunderbuss, if anything, right? It might be nice to actually, like, show that you care about him for, like, once. I did just now. Yeah. Once. And now that's done. Everybody gets one. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> and now his watch has ended. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So once again, it's the Wool Dasher Mizzle's turn, and it's just in time for the tunnel to open up into another deep, dark cavern. Hold on to your butts, yells the Wool Dasher Mizzle as he dives straight down into the blackness. Everybody make a DC 15 strength check for me. Strength Whoa. check? How well do I hold on to my butt? 14. Fuck. Nat 20. Ah. Seven. Oh, I hold on to my butt 16 out of 20. All right. That's okay. So two failures, just barely 14. I got 14 to be yeah. clear. You do not succeed. So you do not gain a runaway point. But again, because Snedrick cast haste, you still are two ahead and the Wool Dasher Mizzle is going to go again. This is actually sort of perfect. So you fall down this hole, but Dave and Claw, you can't quite keep your balance. So the Wool Dasher missile has to slow down a little bit to like catch you guys again on its back. And so you don't quite get away from it, but you pull underneath this tunnel 
back into a series of caves, and then at last, you can see the stars and the night sky out of a yawning hole in front of you. However, despite your efforts, Tiamat continues to gain ground. We're not going to make it, yells the Wooldasher missile. Somebody do something. I mean, I literally just doubled your speed. I feel like I, <laughs> I never really got a turn. Can I shoot that blunderbuss now? <laughs> no, I, I was gonna, just going to say, <laughs> you, you did get a turn. You, you saved the dog. D an unsummon it counts as a turn? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Carl, I love you. Just telepathy. I love you. Thanks, buddy. I'm in hell. I'm having a lemonade. Yeah, no, I know. I know. But yeah, you're a demon. So that's like, you know, your house. Can I tell you? I really appreciate it. You got it, bud. I feel like we don't say enough, like, you know, this relationship is working out. No, I know. I know. Like, I really look at me mm -hmm. telepathically. Mm -hmm. I really love you. I love you, buddy. <laughs> oh, I love you, man. You really, you really drew that out. I felt like. Sorry, there was a, it's just a Skype delay yeah. on my. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. I, start, I started crying, but no, nah, fine. <laughs> the roof of the cave, yells the Wool Dasher Mizzle. Bring it down on her quick. Blunderbuss. I could blunderbuss it. Yeah, whose turn is it right now? So here's your final challenge to escape Tiamat. Okay. Everybody, you get one spell. <gasps> we get a spell slot back? Yep. Oh. One spell slot of whatever spell that you currently know, you're going to aim it in desperation at this ceiling as you're sailing away. I will tell you right now that this ceiling has 50 hit points. Oh, shit. Your job between the four of you is to produce 50 hit points of damage to this ceiling. There's no limitations on distance. There's no limitations on damage. Ooh. You will hit it no matter what. Your job is to roll 50 points of damage against this ceiling to try to escape Tiamat. All right. Who's going first? I have a question. Yes. I don't have spells. I will let you punch some stalactites. <laughs> <Great. Nice. laughs> you can you can lead the way, or you'll you'll close by punching some stalactites. All right. Well, I've got a I've got a fireball that's gonna hit for nine d six. So that's an average of what twenty like thirty one and a half. I'm gonna get like thirty one and a half out of that. Roll that damage for me. You don't even need to roll to hit. Just roll that damage. Boom. Oh, that was pretty good. It feels like good. 38. Jesus. 38 damage. All right. Ooh. Who's next? I'll go. I got call lightning. Call lightning. Do it, Bridget. That's 21. 21. We're That's, we're 50 That's, That's it. No extra spells needed. Boom. Claw slowly puts his hands behind his back. He's like, <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what happens, right? The, the fireball rages up and shatters and shakes everything. The lightning smashes into the ceiling and it's holding on by a single crack and claw. You just hold up a single feather and like <laughs> the one rock that was holding it up and this cave and Darkmoor Castle comes crashing down on top of Tiamat the Dragon God. Nice. Can we, as a bonus action, sing Wonderwall? Just like a really quick... <laughs> As the roof of the cave collapses behind you, you hear the choral shriek of Tiamat and you burst through the hole in the wall of the cavern and into the clean night air. Far below you, the citizens of Pigshit happily loot and redistribute the wealth of the Dark Moors. Wait, was the town called Pigshit? Yeah. It's a, normal, it's a normal name for something. I thought that was just your last name. Yeah, exactly. Were we fighting in the name of communism this whole time? I mean, you didn't know it, but yes, you were. There was a small... <laughs> right, no, I'm not saying I'm against it. I just feel like, you know, it's just we, we don't want to glaze over that anymore. I got Morgan really late, but yeah, me better. too. Yeah.
Well, he's in Canada. Yeah, Morgan. that's true. <laughs> Shave and a haircut. Fucking communist internet. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's a hell of a delay. That's a yeah. really big delay. I don't know how we're going to do this. This sucks. Do you want me to log back in? No, I, I was kidding. No, it was you, a joke. You just didn't he respond said, oh, okay. to shaving a haircut. Oh. <laughs> I was with you, Eli. Thank you. <laughs> Two bits. Thank you, Heath. Jesus yeah. Christ. Well, I'm Roger Rabbit in it over here. My teeth are a fucking chattering. <laughs> <laughs> the preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2022. All rights reserved.